In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And together we pray our Gloria. Glory, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Son of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go tell my servant David, when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stern, stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Be the son of David will live forever. The son of David will live forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. The son of David will live forever. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. The Son of David will live forever. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. The Son of David will live forever. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. 
Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith, so it may be a gift and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not only to those that adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of all of us, as it is written, I have made you the father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations according to what was said, thus shall shall your descendants be, and that is why it was credited to him as righteousness. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. (coughs) The Gospel of the Lord. Lord. Today is the great solemnity of St. Joseph, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We understand uh, the church has always taught, and we understand God's great plan of salvation is beautiful, it's perfect, and it's for broken, sinful humanity, and it's revealed through a human family. So let's take a look at the readings. The first reading from the second uh, book of Samuel. Nathan tells David that his ancestors will be great, and his royal throne will be firm forever. David doesn't see it. He dies before this. But that's the promise God told Nathan to tell David, that his ancestors will be great. Second reading from St. Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 4. St. Paul writes how Abraham's faith led his descendants to inherit the world. Abraham's faith. God's working uh, his salvation through human people, human families. And then in St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 1, the angel of the Lord tells St. Joseph, Joseph, son of David, there's that connection, that family connection. Joseph, son of David. Mary will bear a son. You will call him Jesus. He will save his people from their sins. So Joseph, just like uh, David, And Abraham, he is a man of great, deep faith and love. And so it is right to take this day in the universal church and celebrate St. Joseph. 
this solemnity goes back, way back in human history. I think it, I've read where uh, it's as early as the 10th century. Uh, St. Joseph is declared patron of the Universal Church. That happened in 1870 by Pope Pius IX. He's also declared a guardian of the Redeemer. This happened in 1989 by St. Pope John Paul II. And of course, St. Joseph is the patron saint of workers, carpenters, and fathers. We're going to pray for dads and grandpas too. So we have our beautiful litany of St. Joseph. We'll pray and then have this interesting little prayer to uh, complete our reflection. So now we'll pray our litany uh, to, uh, to St. Joseph. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now, responses will be, have mercy on us. God, our Father in heaven. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. God, the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, one God. And our responses will be, pray for us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. noble son of the house of David, pray for us. light of patriarchs, pray for us. husband of the mother of God, pray for us. guardian of the virgin, pray for us. foster father of the son of God, pray for us. faithful guardian of Christ, pray for us. head of the holy family, Saint Joseph, chaste and just. Saint Joseph, prudent and brave. Saint Joseph, obedient and loyal. Pattern of patience. Lover of poverty. Model of workers. Example to parents. Guardian of virgins. Pillar of family life. Comfort of the troubled. Hope of the sick. Patron of the dying, Pray for us. terror of evil spirits, Pray for us. protector of the church, Pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have Let us pray. Blessed Saint Joseph, the patron saint of workers, please help believers in our time of need. Just as you listen to the angels to protect Mary and Jesus, speak to us and guide us in solving our difficult life problems. Lend us your kingdom and help us think things through. Give us inspiration and help us seek that problems can really do have simple solutions. Help us to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit, the Counselor of Truth, who may be speaking to us with the solution we need. May you guide us and lead us by your helping hand. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Joseph, Amen. the Immaculate Conception, Amen. the Immaculate Heart of Mary, Amen. and the Sacred Heart of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And together, as the body of Christ, we stand and profess our faith in one voice. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, the God is not made, and so with the Father, through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, and was incarnate as a Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified unto a conscious body. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. 
I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead. Trusting in God's promises, let us offer our prayers to the Father this morning. We pray that the church may continue to grow in number and faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that we pray for all men and uh, for uh, husbands uh, and fathers in families. Uh, we ask the intercession of St. Joseph to help them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that husbands and fathers may be blessed with the courage, righteousness, and humility and faith of St. Joseph in these tough times. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all those in the RCIA program here in the parish as they take the next few days to prepare to enter into Holy Week. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord that each of us gathered here may be uh, guided by the Holy Spirit in following God's call for our lives. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord and we pray for all those who have died. We want to pray for the souls of our deceased fathers and grandfathers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and just in the quietness of our hearts and own personal prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father this morning. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and we pray our Mass intention this morning is listed for Ron Chamberlain. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, through baptism, you have adopted us as your children. Please hear our prayers this morning and answer them through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Thank you. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and good the Holy Spirit. We pray, O Lord, that just as St. Joseph served the, with loving care your only begotten Son, Jesus, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar of sacrifice. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God, and on the solemnity of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For, th for this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, Jesus, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. So may our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. 
holy, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. <clears throat> Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Amen. Amen. Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with let us offer each other the sign of peace. <laughs> Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord.
Let us pray. Defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray, the family you have nourished with food from this altar of sacrifice as they rejoice at the solemnity of St. Joseph and graciously keep safe your gifts among them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. We have three beautiful blessings. After each one, we respond, Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his loving mercy. Amen. May he turn his countenance toward you and give you his eternal peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended.